Hey, how's it going everyone? It's been a while. Just want to let you know what's been going on. Yes, I had my shoulder surgery and bicep reattachment. And I haven't been able to carve or anything for a while. Just been selling succulents online at my NorCalSucculentShop.com. Do you remember I had this little greenhouse right here? When I first started in November. Here's what it looks like now. Still pretty full, but hey Zeus. So I upgraded to a little bit bigger tent here. I'll be restocking tomorrow. Here's just a little bit of what I still have. I sell out, uh, not totally, but once a week I have to go restock. Usually this is full. So as you can see, a lot of empty spots. So. My uh, driftwood pile. Been drying it out. Getting ready to carve some wood spirits and driftwood succulent planters. So today, got a couple orders for some driftwood succulent planters. So I'm not going to bore you with uh, drilling them out. I might just show you how I put the plants in them. But basically, what we're going to do, grab a couple pieces of uh, driftwood. We're going to use the drill press, hollow it out with a Forstner bit, then we will come over here and use the Fordham, the Dremel tool, clean everything up, and then we'll drill some holes for drainage, and then we'll uh, get them all planted up. Got this one started. Just gotta drill some holes for some drainage. Let me clean up the end a little bit. All right, so here's the second piece. Go ahead and go ahead and drill some of this out right here, about two inches deep, somewhere around there, and then we'll clean it all up and go from there. Pretty well drilled out it's about two knuckles deep now let's clean it up with the fordham and the dremel i'm gonna use the dremel flex shaft we're gonna come in here and just clean up all these edges then we're gonna drill some holes in the bottom for drainage and then we're gonna put the succulents in almost forgot my dust mask so what i'm doing here if you look at it like this I'm making the walls go on an angle towards the outside. So if I was gonna ship these through the mail, it helps hold the dirt and the succulents in there during shipping because it's on an angle. Just been watching a lot of Jordy's videos, talking with Jordy uh, every couple nights. And he got me to finally open up my succulent Etsy shop. So, so far since I opened on October 12th, took a few weeks to get my first sale. So figure around November, I kind of started, you know, figuring out. And so far, as of today, over 3,000 sales on Etsy. Um, it's taken up a lot of my time packing up all these plants, but I pack them how I'd want them shipped to me. So I wrap them in tissue paper and then use some packing peanuts and just make sure everything's secure. Once in a while, you know, the post office plays football or soccer with the boxes and a few plants get damaged. You know, we make it right. I'm almost done with this one. I'll show you what it looks like. Carved pretty deep in there, about two knuckles. Uh, just got to drill a couple drainage holes, and we'll plant the plants and clean up this one. All right, this one's all cleaned up. You know, you really don't have to clean it up too much inside, but I just like doing it in case the people like to uh, replace the plants and they get inside and they see a finished product in there. It's just what I like to do. Uh, pretty much no one's gonna see it unless they replace the plant. You can't really see them because I drill them on an angle. Um, just helps keep the dirt in there inside and uh, not leak out the bottom, but uh, you need drainage holes in these planters. Otherwise the roots will rot three drain holes in each. All right, let's just clean up a bit. And then we'll go grab some succulents out of the greenhouse. And we'll do like a couple of these, a couple pearl von numbers. These here. Do give her some string of bananas. Let's put in some color, some green and red here. I don't really sell arrangements on NorCal Succulent Shop. I just sell the plants. My wife's company, she sells these. So let's go over some of the basics here. We got our plants, the driftwood, and here's a few tools. First, take the plant out. I like to break some of the extra dirt off. If your soil's dry, it's easier to take it all off the roots. So as you can see, kind of give it a little push here and it's holding everything together to add something right here. 
take some more soil off. They want it to look something like that. Healthy roots. So we will be placing this one and this one. I think we're going to need one more plant. So I'm going to go pick that and I'll be back. So I haven't got to do much carving, arm and uh, shoulder surgery. So I've just been watching all the videos, all the world of carvers on Jordy's uh, Facebook and the videos he puts out and watching some other people too. So this was a warm up for me to start carving. I think today I'm gonna try and carve a wood spirit. I'm gonna carve a monster for Jordy's uh, contest over at Carving Fusion. Check him out on uh, Thursday nights at five o'clock. He goes live. Um, it's real fun. Usually a half hour to an hour live chat answers questions about carving and we just have a good time i think it's looking pretty good we just need some moss and we'll go from there all right i'll go over to hobby lobby be sure to use your uh your coupon on your app you get 40 percent off the one i like it's just a spanish moss right here so i'm gonna go with a big bag all right so you take a little bit of moss put, soak it in some water and then when you put it into the planter you could compact it and as it dries it, it expands and hold the plants in place. Grab a little bit of moss, we can ball it up. I'm gonna place it into the voids next to the soil and the roots. You could use a little stick or a pen. You can push it down in. It's okay if a little bit is hanging out, you could always trim it up to your liking after it dries. It's kind of like giving a little haircut. Oh, there goes the Fordham. Extra sawdust off. Here's what we're gonna put it in. It's a little bit larger, almost as long as the arm from the armpit. So let's go get some plants. Since this is a larger driftwood planter, put a larger plant in there. Go with this one here, nice four inch. And we'll go with another uh, string of bananas. Pearl on numbers. Let's go with a little bit of height. We'll go, with a, we'll go with one of these here. We'll go with a couple more of these. Since I have a bunch, go build this driftwood succulent planter a couple scoops of soil and position it how you like it remember the moss will hold it in place pack a little more soil in there I'm gonna use uh, three copper roses Want a little more space so do a little more soil it in there like that grab the other two all right so as soon as this is done i get to do a little carving for the first time in a few months i like the way that looks i like the blue next to that it's really a lot of contrast Boy, that looks great. pretty much you just put them in how you you like and how you like to design them what do you think looks good I don't know why I like everything in twos, but I like two of these plants, two of those plants, two of the next plants. You might not like it that way, but uh, you can do it however you want. Uh, if you can make it look like that, works really good because you can just lay it in there. Keeps all the roots and holds it in place. Here's two that I picked. One of my favorites. I can't remember the name of it. Uh, it's something missed. I can't remember the name of the succulent right now. There's over 700 varieties. But I like this one. Uh, what was the name of it? I can't remember. Anyway, we'll get it put in there and see how it looks. If, yeah, if you ever don't like something, you can take it back out, switch your plants up until you're really happy with it. Make some room for the string of bananas. Just gotta figure out which way you like them to hang out. Soil. Use the Little tools to get a little packing in there. All right, time for a little moss. Handful of moss, put it in some water, let it soak up the water. You could bunch it up or leave it long. I like to leave it kind of long and work my way around, pushing it in between the wood and the succulents. And also, if you haven't seen Orbelina's channel and you speak Spanish, she's one of my followers and she has a YouTube channel she lives uh, in the neighborhood go ahead and check her out I watch it even though I don't understand Spanish but uh, kind of learn what's going on the plants and how to do things turn it around don't be afraid to make it easy on yourself to work turn your stuff around so you can uh, work on it easier 
could use your finger or the tools. It's all preference if you like a little bit hanging out or if you don't like no moss at all, that's great too. I like the way the moss looks. Is it really natural to have succulents grown out of a log? No, but it looks kind of natural uh, with the moss hanging out. All right, what do you guys think? All right, so we'll give this thing a haircut when it dries up and we'll get a, we'll get a photo of both of them.